my attention was brought to these artifacts um, in an interview with Carlos Donner uh, and along with these artifacts there was some others that was led which I was led to believe may be around 17,000 years old uh, the, the f let's just talk about the first one you see like there's two figures or people looking up and on the plaque below them that they're, they're standing on you'll see quite obviously three dots that make up if you just join them lines a perfect triangle also on the large jade cup you'll see the exact same thing again the three dots and if you just to join the line up you'd make a triangle now the other important fact about that cup is that it's magnetic only on the inside of the cup and not on the outside and what you've got is 12 little cups yeah if you was to fill up those cups with water and pour them into the larger cup it would fill it completely what I'm really surprised is that no one has actually gone looking for those three dots in the constellations because they would have found them uh, they are situated very close to Orion as is depicted on that square plaque and if you look at the two figures they're looking up towards the sky so they're telling us something's important to be looking at up in the sky I'm going to show you now exactly what it is they're looking at this is what's called the winter triangle or the summer triangle uh, it's made up of the three stars Sirius, Betelgeuse and Procyon it is the only triangle perfectly formed anywhere in the night sky but there's more to this triangle as I will explain the Egyptians tried to bring our attentions to it by building the pyramids in the same constellation as the Orion star uh, constellation they also to rebut this fact aimed the two air ducts coming out of the Great Pyramid at those stars exactly. You'll also note that the King's Chamber is slightly offset 90 degrees whereas the Queen's Chamber further lower down is on the 90 degrees directly central to the pyramid. There's a good reason for this. But just to recap we have Sirius, Betelgeuse and a triangle or a pyramid. Look what, we, what, what happens when you earn Liam over a celestial map. All I've done is join the dots up in the winter triangle so it stands out more and I've also put the where the Queen's Chamber is in the pyramid and the King's Chamber and you'll see they are lined smack bang up with the galactic equator. In fact the line runs through the two circles on that galactic equator. There is no mistake they wanted to bring our attention to this exact point in the celestial skies. This is a photocopy of a planisphere in the safe. You can see the winter triangle and Orion. If you look at where the arrow is pointing, if you uh, use the, um, the the triangle as an arrow, you'll see it points exactly to the 1st of July, indicating perfectly the middle of the year, exactly. And as already shown on the celestial map, aligns perfectly with the galactic center. In this photo you can see the planisphere. All as I've done is rotated it 180 degrees and you'll find that it lines up with the 1st of January or the beginning of a new year. Exactly. And I've got only all these coordinates directly off the winter triangle that the Egyptians was trying to bring our attentions to Uin, and also whoever built those little cups it was something very important but what I want to bring your attention to is that this now is aligned with Sagittarius and also this is the point what the Mayans claim where the dark rift comes from so maybe there is something here there was both pyramids and they're both telling us now the exact same spot in the uh, celestial skies as I've already explained this cup was magnetic only on the inside, not on the outside, 
and it was clearly marked as you can see with that triangle on it so bear that in mind magnetic only on the inside of the cup I'm going to show you another artifact that was magnetic only at the center of that triangle you now see you can see a little iron thing being attracted to the center now you have them clearly showing you something that whatever it is they're telling us is that inside this triangle it is clearly magnetic and you can see it's almost in a spiral and I believe that is our galaxy and that the point that the, the Egyptians show us with the king and queen's chamber is actual the points in the galactic equator where this happens here's another photograph and you can see just that, it, that, that whatever they've painted this with is a luminous in dark light you know and they're supposed to not have technology these things are 17,000 years old I believe they was trying to tell us something and I believe that as we pass these two points in this triangle we have a magnetic reversal and I believe they were trying to warn us of this point in our future and as we know from the Mayans we're 27 months out from that time when this is all supposed to happen now I've collaborated Egyptian evidence as well as my own to come to this summary I suggest people start paying attention to this fact because it's going to take place and I believe our governments are going to the extremes to keep this quiet because they don't want, they want to keep it civilized as long as they can but in doing that they're not giving everybody a chance of surviving this what's coming our ancestors weren't as self-centered as this they went to a lot of trouble to build these monuments so big that they would last the test of time to give us a warning of what is to come again on these celestial cycles the effects of the galactic alignment are already apparent earthquakes eruptions of volcanoes floods and tsunamis and this is to to say the least there is worst yet to come and it's going to get worse and worse and your governments know this here's a photograph of the Sun taken by NASA in 2002 and here's one taken in 2009 you can clearly see the difference I don't need to point it out here's a graph from NASA showing the magnetic fields and you can see what date it's going to drop off at do some research this is taking place and they're not announcing it you need to copy this video and post it because I dare say it will be ripped off off the uh, YouTube you know once someone starts to make uh, complaints about it so rate it and copy it and send it out because I don't give a shit about the human continuity and continuity plans that the governments are planning they don't give a shit about us people you need to get the word out and do it fast.